you about haters. Since I started recording videos on YouTube, I've been asked by friends and family if I'm worried about haters, if I'm worried about trolls, if I'm worried about bullying. And the thing is, in my experience so far, um, posting videos of mine, especially from the Star Trek and Star Wars kind of stuff uh, on related groups on uh, Facebook, the hater and troll and bullying responses were all about my production quality, whatever, and my appearance, like, oh, this guy has long hair, oh, this guy wears a hat, oh, this guy wears sunglasses, blah, 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 blah. And the thing is, I immediately have to laugh about that, like, We're talking about franchises like Star Trek and Star Wars uh, that have been usurped by absolutely extreme, uh, uh, extremely monopolistic, extremely uh, monstrous corporations uh, that try to turn the original idea into a uh, water it down into something everybody can buy into, uh, taking franchises that previously were uh, for a specific kind of group, were appealing to a specific kind of group, especially Star Trek. Star Trek was for Trekkies, that was just the nature of things. Uh, they took something that was appealing to a specific type of group and used their focus group type of approach to um, water it down so much that uh, general audiences would like it by having a lot of really awful CGI, a really lot of bad action and uh, dialogue that doesn't make sense and characters that don't make sense and uh, making it uh, exactly identical to Transformers, to Marvel, to DC, to Fast and Furious, and thereby taking all franchises and making them equal. And all these different franchises all had their different fan groups. And the idea is make them all into one solid big incongruous sludge that doesn't mean anything. So being a fan doesn't mean anything anymore, you're just some big sludge of general people who like stuff. That's like uh, the new target audience, general uh, human beings who like stuff that happens on screen. Um, then the uh, Posting on uh, those uh, like nerd themed groups on Facebook, uh, it's like um, people uh, whining about my appearance, about my hair or my sunglasses or whatever. It's like the same thing happened to all the music subculture uh, since the turn of the century. Uh, they took the large corporations, they took heavy metal and they made metal core so people with short hair and a regular appearance could listen to metal and they took gothic music and uh, made some pop gothic music so regular people could listen to it and they uh, took punk music and made pop punk so regular people could listen to it so they sucked up all the distinct subcultures uh, to try to make them into something the general audience would appreciate, but the uh, unique fan groups wouldn't appreciate anymore to uh, be part of that whole big equalized sludge of general human beings who like stuff. And it's just the way it is now that uh, all the subcultures in music are disappearing one by one. You, you, uh, in the 90s you used to see heavy metal fans, you used to see goth people, you used to see punk people, you used to see the, uh, you know, the ska people and the uh, skinhead people and the hip-hop people were back then a distinct subculture that wasn't just mainstream pop shit just with different vocals. 
you had so many distinct different subcultures and uh, the Star Trek and Star Wars stuff it was the same Trekkies were a distinct different subculture like watch the documentaries Trekkies and Trekkies too uh, those people were a distinct subculture that identified with their specific uh, uh, fandom and that was just usurped and uh, sucked up into the generic sludge of uh, everything being the same for a society in, in which everybody is the same. And here's the big irony uh, that uh, unravels itself when I am asked if I'm worried about haters and all the haters I get so far are about my appearance. Uh, the people who whine about my appearance, uh, they are obviously uh, wanting to be part of this big generic sludge where everybody is the same, where there's no distinct individuality anymore, where everybody is just exactly a clone of every other person. But they come from uh, Facebook groups that uh, criticize stuff like uh, Star Trek Discovery and Star Wars The Last Jedi and it's so, it's so dishonest. There are such frauds and liars. It's obviously this kind of stuff, Star Trek Discovery, Star Wars The Last Jedi, is made for people like you. People like you who want a generic sludge in which nobody has any individuality uh, any unique characteristics whatsoever. This stuff is made for you, so stop pretending that you don't love it. You love it. These people who whine about me, they love Star Trek Discovery, they love Star Wars The Last Jedi, they love Captain Marvel, they love this stuff, but they fake it that they don't to somehow pretend that they're special, but they love it because it's made exactly for those people. It's made for those generic sludge people. That human trash with no value whatsoever, that stuff is made for you and you love it. This is your favorite stuff and if you're pretending otherwise, everybody knows you're pretending. You're pretending and everybody can see it. You're the only one who believes that people cannot see it uh, when you're pretending that <laughs> it's so obvious. You're just generic sludge clone people. So yeah, am I, if friends or family ask, am I worried about those people, about generic sludge clones who pretend they're anything other than that? No, I am not worried about frauds who pretend they're anything other than what they are. <laughs> who needs to worry about uh, clones who pretend not to be clones? <laughs> and just like the lowest scale uh, on the uh, human ladder. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. No, I'm not worried about that. That's just some slime from the generic lower level human sludge that the giant corporations created by destroying all subcultures and uh, <coughs> they think they can comment because they pretend to be uh, not part of the sludge but obviously they are so uh, and everybody sees through their pretending and there's still no reason to take anything they say seriously because they're just generic cloned sludge And I generally, I cannot be asked in any way to worry about people like that. So <laughs> I just have to laugh about the question, are you worried about haters or trolls or... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm not worried about clone sludge. Nah, never. <laughs>